Hey, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to uh, drop a quick video today, just kind of you know recapping what happened the other day when we had the vote of non-confidence. Um, you know, if you're a conservative, if you're an independent, if you just like Canada and don't want it destroyed, the the fact that the vote of non-confidence did not pass is is bad news, right? Like, there's no way around that. However, the good news about this is that what the Bloc, the Green, and the NDP parties all have done by voting no against the, the vote of non-confidence, voting no for Canadians to have an election, they've just exposed themselves. I know that's not the win that we all want and need, but let's be honest here. You're going to see a new poll come out in a couple weeks. I guarantee you that the NDPs are going to be hurt by this. There are people in the NDP party who do not like Trudeau and are going to be pissed off with Singh for not, and his whole party for not voting for an election. All of a sudden, Singh goes from, I think he was at 22 down to 20. And then Trudeau goes from, you know, 24 to 22. The Conservatives are going to go up to like 44. Next thing you know, it's like, okay, so maybe Pierre, Pierre, maybe Pierre Polyev got what he wanted. He knew it wasn't going to pass. Most people, even I knew it wasn't going to pass. I just got my hopes up, unfortunately. But even after it didn't pass, he goes, okay, well, now Canadians see... If you're an NDP supporter, but you're upset that we're not having an election, now you know who to blame. You know the people you vote for, that team, that, that party that's supposed to be for the middle class, the working class? They just showed you that they stand with Justin Trudeau. The people that voted them in are not important to them. They just proved it to you. If they wanted you to have a voice and they wanted your opinion and your vote to count, they would have said, you know what? 23% more of a carbon tax increase on top of what Canadians are already facing? This is ridiculous. And I'm going to let Canadians make their decision as they should be able to make their decision. But they didn't. Why? Because they need their pension. And this basically ensures that the NDP leader, Jagmeet Singh, who is a fucking clown, now gets to be an MP for six full years, giving him his pension, which I believe is just over $2 million. So he'll get that in retirement every year, like in payments, not 2.4 million every year, but like he'll get those, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll get like a, a living wage for the rest of his life, not to mention on top of all the assets he has now. I mean, the guy was, you know, getting in a limo with a Gucci bag. The guy's already got some money, clearly. So he's now securing another $2 million for himself. That's what his vote was for. Not because it's like, well, no, I think Trudeau's doing a good job. He criticizes Trudeau all the time. All the time. So now NDP supporters, the, the very few NDP supporters who actually have a fucking brain, might actually think, you know what? This guy's not for the middle class. He's not for the working class. He doesn't care about any of us. He cares about himself, his status, and his pension. That's it. So I'm going to go vote for the... One person who's at least pretending to be a populist, and that's Pierre Polyev. This does not mean, again, I don't feel, I've said this many times, I do not fully trust Pierre Polyev, but he's the only one at least saying the right things. So a lot of people are going to continue to move over to him, not to mention people who are independent and don't vote usually don't take polls. I almost guarantee you that you're going to see a higher rate of uh, voter turnout in 2025. Most of them, by far, will be for the Conservatives. Independents are going to vote Conservative. It's not even going to be close. Unfortunately for us, we got to wait two more years. So hang tight, guys. Try to survive. We'll try to get by this. And then eventually, we can get these clowns out of office and out of Parliament and replace them with common-sense Conservatives.